Hey guys, hey Kelly Kalor and Ben Simone with KKB Loves, blah, 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 with my infamous and incredible co star, infamous. Teddy Ben Simone. Teddy Ben Simone, how are you? Apparently infamous, so pretty <laughs> infamous, good. Infamous, famous, unbelievable, Victorious. incredible. Everyone's loving you, by the way. All my friends are like, oh my god, Teddy's doing such a great job on the podcast. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, really? Are you having fun doing it? So much fun. All right, I'm having the best time because I get to hang out with Teddy. We get to talk about things that we have in common that are Teddy's age and that are my age, and it's just like different perspectives. Let's do Ted. Let's do Ted. Let's, Ted. Let's do Fluff. So we were having the best time. Let's get to the fifth podcast, KKB Love, blah, blah, blah. Today, we are sponsored by Suja. Ted, I want you to pick one of you because you're just so humble. I want to try the matcha one. So this is Suja Organic that I actually got, for the, I tried it for the first time in the public store here in Palm Beach. And they defend your immunity. I literally tried one of their ginger shots and C and I were trying them every single day and it was making us feel so good and so energized and so healthy. And so we just started drinking them every single day. And then I reached out to Suja and I'm like, guys, I'm obsessed. So I have the immunity, the carrot mango, which one do you have? The matcha mint. So mine has only 45 calories. Uh, it has zero fat, low sodium, low carbs, low sugar, and zero protein. It is so delicious, and you will love it. Uh, it has vitamin C in it, vitamin E in it. It's just delicious. I'm loving them. So they have everything from assorted cold press to juices, cleanses. Teddy really likes the kombucha. C and I really like the juices, and then they also have the uh, little mini energy juices that C and I really like. So, you should try I want you to taste them because they're so good. Which one? Okay, I already, this is the Detox Matcha Mint. I've already tried it. I'm going to take a little sip of you guys. Okay, this one is vegan, so I can have this one. That's vegan. The matcha one, if any of you guys are vegan and watching, the matcha one's not vegan because there's honey in it. That is so good. Well, I can have it because I'm not you vegan can, vegan. Have it, I'm not really vegan. I mean, I She's have, just not vegan. You either are or you aren't. I have vegan tendencies. Let's put it that way. Okay. So I love to eat well and try to be as healthy as possible, but I'm not 100% vegan. And speaking of be vegan, let's talk oh, about Beyond Meat, good. how their stocks are skyrocketing. Everyone is loving Beyond Meat. It's Every because of me. I said I was going vegan and everyone else was like, wow, why did I get on this train? Teddy is a game changer. She's yeah. a pioneer. She's a math right. But Beyond Meat, if you guys have not tried that, you should definitely try it. We are super obsessed with Flourish, as you guys know that we are. And Gardein, G-A-R-D-E-I-N. I will put those on my story so you guys can see all of the different kind of food items that we've been trying lately. All right, let's just get to it. Today we're talking all about music. And Teddy loves music so this is going to be super fun i do love music so i like to deal in numbers as you guys always know i have like five questions five things and we're always talking <gasps> five, about five five podcasts <laughs> five podcasts is our five so today five 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 so it's a good luck day so today we're going to talk about five music groups that teddy really really likes ted can you first of all tell me what kind of music you like and then we'll get one. Then we'll get started. Um, I have an eclectic music taste. However, if I had to put it in a box, put a label on it, I kind of tend to stay within the classic rock region. Okay, like that, like classic rock. Do you guys remember like those amazing album covers? Like I miss those so much. All those fun music videos from MTV. Like that's what I grew up with. Love that so much. My first concert. She loves it so much. So my, my first concert, you guys, was Prince. I remember exactly what I was wearing. I cut my sweatshirt off the shoulder, and I had a little denim skirt that I like laced up so it would be like kind of like Navajo 80s look. Ted, what was your first concert? Jonas Brothers. The Jonas Brothers. Do you want to just tell us a little about that concert? I didn't. I didn't react in the way that I should have. I freaked <laughs> out. <laughs> my sister and I were literally freaking out, and it was. I mean, it was really fun. I had like the best time. It was, it was really, really fun. There was another concert that you had a, real, a lot of fun at. Do you want to talk about that concert? I do not want to talk about that Let's concert. talk about it. I oh. want to hear about it. Come on. It's the most cute. My first super... Jingle Ball ever. I used to go to the Jingle Ball when I was a kid. 
Garden, at Madison Square Garden, the best time. And it was amazing. And my Why was it amazing? first, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. It was cool. But my first one. The Jingle Ball is like all these different bands under one roof for two hours. It is unreal. Go ahead. So basically, Enrique Iglesias was playing. I actually, prior to this concert, I didn't actually know who it was because I was like not in the know. But then I saw him on stage and I was like, I have to go there. So I ran, like, I like. We were on like the side part of the stage, so I just kind of like went off and then grabbed his ankle. Was it the ankle? Yeah. I had it was yanked off immediately by a security guard and brought back to my seat. Yeah, I mean it wasn't like a grab of the ankle. It was more of a lunge, and I literally held the back of no, her ankle. No, I went ankles, down. I went down. And she, the security guards were like, they were like, I was like, no, like one no, of those things. No, that's not what I just kind of like my way out of the section because I ran down the stairs. Okay, he says she said. So I wasn't anyway, like she was, flying. You were She like, was flying. She was definitely. It wasn't like a trapeze. Yeah, moment. she was like literally like Enrico, Enrique Iglesias, like I'm coming to get you. All eight, eight years old of her. I was nine. Okay, anyway. So obviously nine. my memory. Do you remember what you were wearing? I was wearing gray skinny jeans. It was dark over that. So cute. <laughs> I was actually wearing a top very similar to this one. <laughs> it was like really long and it had like no collar. I think you were like wearing yeah, those and it was little like, boots too, those little shorty boots. And I had these Sam Edelman suede boots that I wore all the time. I, you could have, either it was those boots or these like gold clogs that I had. I love clogs, I make them clogs. So but that outfit, like, and, and I had my hair, I remember my hair was like kind of curled and then it was like braided back. Super cute, super fun. Jingle Ball is always a great time. We're going to miss you, Jingle Ball, this year. We can't wait. We hope it gets to be home. Everything works out so we can, you know, get back to MSG and to see all those fun events, especially Jingle Ball and the Rangers and the Knicks and all the fun concerts. There's we nothing miss them more so depressing much. than not being able to see the Rangers play. Oh, you miss that. All right, more and more music, more music. They miss music. me, though. They miss okay. me. So, you love classical rock, we got that. No, oh, classic rock. Oh, sorry, classical classic rock. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Jump to it. So Teddy, so you love classic rock. So but what I also kind of, like, I'm like every, a little bit of everything, but like mostly. Okay, so like a little bit of everything. Let's be more specific. What is that? Well, my top five like bands slash artists. I would say, well, Nirvana's my favorite band of all time. They're not even classic rock. They're more like a punk, punk grunge, um, and it's like more like a late '90s moment. But they are my favorite ever. You have all of their records. Yeah, like, I bought a record player because I bought their records. Yeah, which was it used to be. It should be the other way around, but yeah, she bought the records on Bleecker Street, and then she got a record player afterwards. So yeah, that's they're really cool. Those covers are amazing. So what do you like so much about Nirvana? Um, I don't know. I actually I remember the first Nirvana song I ever heard. I it was Come As You Are. I was studying with my friends. We were doing homework after after school, like we would say after school, we do some homework. Um, my freshman year. And I was just playing one of C's playlists actually, and it was like the Paris New York one, you know? That place yeah. Have? And I was playing it like just for us to like be doing homework too. And then all of a sudden, "Come As You Are" came on, and I was like, "Oh my god, what is this song?" And I literally paused it, and I was like, "And that night, I went home, and I pulled an all nighter. Don't get mad at me about this. And I watched their concerts, and I like looked up everything. It was like, I was like, it was crazy. I like I went to school the next day with like under eye bags. I literally said, "Go home tonight." Were you nine? No. Ten? I was a freshman in high school. I was oh, 14. Oh, sorry. 14, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled an all-nighter at 14. Teddy. Well, I just, I did it. Oh, I you know your curfew? What? No. I was in, I was home in, in my room. <laughs> this is not logical conversation. Okay, so you love Nirvana. You love Come As You Are. What other, what other bands do you really like? Well, Come As You Are is a band. It's a song. It's a song, I'm saying. Right. Um, I love the Rolling Stones. I love The Doors. I love Gucci Mane. He's not a band, he's a person and he's not in classic rock anyway, but... But you love Gucci Mane. I really do love Gucci Mane. What song do you love by Gucci Mane? Helpless. My favorite album of his is Drop Top Walk. You have no clue what I'm talking about. I have no clue He's a rapper. About, but, but... I actually know who Gucci Mane is. I'm not, I'm not that old. You just like wouldn't know who he is. Oh. 
And then I also like... I'm going to look him up I later, like the guys. Beatles. And I'm going to run to him tonight. You like the Beatles? I do like the Beatles. I feel like everyone likes... If you don't like the Beatles... Which 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 part of the Beatles do you like? They're early, early... I'm a magical mystery tour kind of girl. But I also love... Um, there's a song off like one of like their anthology albums. It was like Real Love. I love that song. Other couple of songs. Like, oh, in spite of all the dangers, but like when they were the quarry men, not even the Beatles yet. That song is amazing. Can you tell me any five songs that are on your um, Spotify or on your playlist, your favorite playlist? Lithium by Nirvana. Beast of Burden by the Rolling Stones. Touch Me by the Doors and Soft Parade by the Doors. And I am the Walrus. Love that. Can you believe the names of these titles of these songs? You guys are just unbelievable. Like, where do they come up with these? It's like unbelievable. I, on the other hand, I actually let's see. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you. Um, so, I love James Taylor. I water ski to James Taylor. I snow ski to James Taylor. I run to James Taylor. I just love. Oh, Mexico is one of my favorite songs of all time. As you know, you don't know that. Do you want to sing it together? I, I don't know. What when my was when I was younger, my my twin brother, and my sister would like laugh at me because they knew that I was singing "Oh Mexico" to when I was water skiing. So that was kind of like um, that's kind of my my go-to. Lately, I've been running to Justin Bieber's "Intentions." Don't ask me why, but I really am in love with the song. I just think it's so great. And I don't know if you guys have heard this, but Coldplay has like a whole like Mexican vibe to that one of their albums, and it is unbelievable. Is yeah, it is I love that song. so great, and I just love it so much. And every time I'm in Mexico, I'm just like you know driving down to Playa del Carmen to Tulum, and I'm just like cranking the music, and I'm just loving it. Even going to the Hamptons, wherever I'm going, I absolutely love it. I would say you, if I just like put like the memories I have with you and, and like music. music, I would say definitely John Mayer, hundred percent. Oh yeah, love John Mayer. Um, there's another. What was, that? what was the song that he sings about America that I love so much? He has this like song that's like super Waiting patriotic. Waiting on the world to change. Oh yeah, you Waiting like, on you the like world to change, one. I love that. She yeah. also likes... Yeah. Um, I like stuff like that. You like, you like the Pina Colada I, song, like that, I don't you know. You like Pina Coladas <laughs> and Getting Caught in the Rain? That's not John Mayer. No, it's not John Mayer, no. That's, what's it, Rufus something? I'm sorry if you the singer slash songwriter of that song. I don't know your name. Rufus Sorry, but something. yes, I do like if you like the Annalise Coladas and getting caught in the rain. I do like, I like Waiting Pina on the Coladas. World to Change. I really love that song. I remember when I first heard it, you know, I am like a, a woman of the people and I just love, like, I know, seriously, Statement. I am. She's the woman like, of the people. I am, and I just always love that, you know, it was a song that was like really empowering the every woman and the every man to, you know, want to be better. And I just thought that was really, really cool. And I liked the storytelling. Isn't that so yeah. All right, what else? You also like Train. Mi amore, what tell me? Train. Okay, Train. What song do I like from Train? I'm related to this, by the way. <laughs> what song do I like from Train? Uh, hey Soul Sister. That's like the most famous one. I used to like Train when I was younger, too. Yeah. I'm forgetting the other one. Do you have any other ones that you think that I like? Oh, wait. Also, I want to give a quick shout out. Well, she doesn't need a shout out. Jennifer Hudson, that's my mother right there. This is my mother, but like Jennifer <laughs> Hudson is my mother. She's your mother or my other mother? You love Jennifer Hudson. Why do you like Jennifer Hudson so much? I don't know. I love her so much. Everything she does, I'm like, you're so amazing. I saw her, I went to the cast premiere with my friend, and I saw her on stage, and I literally was like freaking out. She's like, oh my god, why are you freaking out? I was like, it's Jennifer Hudson. She was like, oh my god. It was like, it was, and I was like in like the third row, and I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my god, I love that. That is so cute. I think one of like the coolest. <laughs> I think one of like I don't know. I really of all my favorite mu music moments with you. We've just had so many. We've gone to so many concerts. And these MGMT. We, remember, yeah, MGMT for my 40th birthday. That was like one of my favorite bands. Um, remember we went to go to like we just went gone to like a lot of these different concerts that have all these different groups. And like remember we went to go, we went to saw Selena Gomez and Jennifer Lopez and um, remember we went to go see that big concert um, in Long Island at Jones Beach that was super fun. We just had we like had a lot of fun music experience.
experiences together. And we're in the car driving to the Hamptons. Teddy always has like the best playlist. He always. You know what's crazy music. though is that two times in my life I was shafted, for lack of a better word, because by this one right here, because <laughs> being me, the mother. Yeah. Um, I love Pearl Jam. Sophomore year of high school, she took seats to go see Pearl Jam. She was like. I have like no clue what's going on here. I was like, this is what that would have been my moment. And then again, last summer, it was like around my birthday, she took my sister to go see the Rolling Stones. Yeah. True story. And her I excuse did. was, Well, C's leaving for C C always leaves really early for school. Yeah, so I took C. Like, oh C's leaving early and C was like They played yeah, they played at uh, Giant Stadium um, in New Jersey, the Rolling Stones, and I took C to see it. It was like literally unbelievable. And I also took her to see Pearl Jam. And I'm from Rockford, Illinois, as you guys all know. And Cheap Trick is from Rockford, Illinois, and they one Cheap of, Trick is not Pearl Jam though. One of the biggest, one of the guys that um, played in Cheap Trick lived next door to my school, and my mom is really good friends with the um, drummer's mom, and so. They're just, it's, you know, great band that I grew up with. Surrender is one of my favorite songs. And so right before Pearl Jam came on, Cheap Trick came on. And my oldest daughter, C, was like, who is this band? I'm like, it's Cheap Trick. By the way, like, they want, are major. I just want to let you know that if you had taken me, I would have known exactly who that band was. Well, by the way, you stole my Pearl Jam t-shirt. No, you, you were like, here, I'll give you a t-shirt. <laughs> Both times, she was like, I brought you a t-shirt. I'm like, wow, that's like, that beats the experience. Next time, just bring me a t-shirt. The Rolling Stones is really, really cool to see because they're, you know. I bet. I wouldn't know. No, it's just incredible to see them in real life and to see them, like how energetic they are and athletic and they're just like loving life and you can tell that they have so much passion with what, you know, for what they do and it really, it's just, it's like, honestly, it's like sensational. It just like took my breath away to see like my daughter and my friends and their kids and, you know, all, all these people that I knew just like all these different people of all these different ages, just like having the best night and, you know, just really is a testament to their talent. Like they can just appeal to a lot of different people and good music is good music. I think, you should, I think you should share your, um, your, one of your um, playlists with the fans because I think they would love to see some of the songs you like, your top five songs. Okay. So we're, we're going to do that for you guys, and I would love to hear you guys on Instagram, Facebook, wherever you guys see this, on um, Podbeam, wherever. I want you guys to let me know like your favorite songs because I'm always you know, super interested in you guys, and if there's a new song or a new band that I haven't heard about and I'm not clued into, I definitely want to you know, learn more and be better and be more clued into like... So like, let us know. Yeah, let us know what fans you guys like. We want to know. We want to know what you guys are listening to on your run, when you're working out, when you're hanging out, when you're driving. We want to know what you're listening to. And just so you know, the Pina Colada song is called Escape by Rupert Holmes. So yeah, but it's I Escape had, the Pina Colada song. Escape the Pina Colada song. Sorry, I had a brain freeze on that. Sorry about that. But I just want to thank you guys so much. Thank you, Suja, for keeping Teddy and C and I healthy. Thank you, Fluff, for being our great sidekick. I'm Kelly Clarn Ben Simone. This is Teddy Ben Simone, and this is KKB Loves. Blah 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 blah. See you guys later.